Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. Lou Holbeika here. I'll be the host of your webinar today. So I really appreciate everybody joining me. I see some, some familiar faces, so that's always really nice. And uh, I know this is your lunch hour, but uh, I promise to, or my hopes is to make this an enjoyable lunch hour. So you walk away with some good knowledge and we'll have a little bit of fun along the way. And my purpose here is to provide you with some education in providing you, your home, your family, comfort, safety. I mean, that's what we're all about, here to take care of our families and hopefully I can help out there. So I'll be providing a whole bunch of great special offers throughout the webinar, so stay to the end, you're not gonna wanna miss out. We all like a great deal, I certainly do. And I got a whole bunch of free stuff too, so really cool. All right, so if you have any questions throughout the webinar, go ahead and put them in the questions option and I'll take many pauses throughout and I'll answer your questions. Sound fair? Cool. All right, so I need to live up to a promise. And earlier in one of my intro videos, I promised we'd have a little fun because with Lou Habaika, we always have fun. All right, so I'm gonna start out with a little bit of humor. All right, this is a joke, remember. All right, so I have a surefire way on how you can tell who loves you more, your spouse or your dog. Pretty simple but follow these instructions. So tomorrow morning at precisely 11 a.m., take your spouse and your dog outside to your car, open the trunk, lock them both in the trunk. That's right, you heard me, lock them both in the trunk. Now start your car, move it outside, driveway, street, a nice, hot, sunny location where it's gonna get full sun, all right? Park it there, leave it, Go about your noontime, have a nice lunch, go out with a friend, get a massage, treat yourself, just have some fun. All right, now come back at one o'clock. We don't wait, leave them in there too long. One o'clock, go out to your car, open the trunk, step back real quick. Who's happy to see you? All right, there's no more guessing, point proven. As the old saying goes, dog is man or woman's best friend. All right, fun stuff. Cool. So I'm going to minimize my picture here and uh, we're going to get on with the webinar. Expected time of the webinar is about a half hour. So that should be pretty cool. All right. So today we're going to talk about a product alert. I'm calling it the big problem. And the reason it's the big problem is R22 refrigerant has been the main staple of cooling our homes, businesses, a lot of refrigerated product for the past 50 years. So it is what we've used for a long time and it's being phased out. So that affects your home AC. And what I'm going to share with you today is what you need to know before it's too late. Sound fair? All right, let's move on here. Let's get over to my screen, there we go. All right, so what you're gonna to learn today, let's cover a few points here. What effect does R22 refrigerant have with your comfort? how R22 is used in your air conditioning today. How do you know if your current air conditioner still uses R22? I'll be able to answer that. Dangers and hazards it brings. Pros and cons of continuing to use it. Efficiency and cost effectiveness. How long it'll continue to be available and its planned phase out time frame. And lastly, what options you have if your air conditioner still uses R22, whether it's home or your business. I'll give you several options. Sound fair? All right, and again, any questions, post in the questions option, I'll answer them along the way. So why is it important for you to watch this webinar with me today? So first and foremost, wouldn't you agree that the health and safety of your family is priority number one? I mean, really, isn't that why we get up every day, we go to work, we work as hard as we do, drive as hard as we do, do everything to be able to support, maintain the safety, comfort, security of our family. I mean, in the end, it's not about job, it's not about money, it's not about what you've accumulated, your masses of wealth, it's really all about family and their safety and their health and then they're just solid, secure futures. So family is number one. Maintaining the comfort of your home as a reliable, cost-effective and safe environment for you and your family is essential. Now, nobody's happy when your AC unit breaks down on a hot summer day. If it's ever happened to you, which if you've lived in Phoenix, Arizona for any period of time, I'm certain it has, it's no fun. I promise you'll be well armed with the necessary knowledge to make an educated decision on what's best for you and your family. All right, so my promise to you 
Before the end of this presentation, I'll provide each of you several exclusive offers only available here today. You're not going to want to miss out. I have a whole bunch of money-saving offers plus a whole bunch of free stuff. Cool. So let's talk about the big problem that we're currently facing. R22 is harmful to our environment and is causing a climate change effect. Basically, it's depleting our ozone layer, which is our protective layer that acts as our shield for all life on Earth. So I'm going to look at the picture here on the bottom left, and we can see our beautiful sun here. And what our sun does for us is that it provides us life. Every living being organism on Earth depends on the sun for energy and life. So we're living down here in our nice Earth-friendly zone, all living organisms and human beings, right? We're having a good old time, and man is so innovative. What does he do? Well, he creates really cool products, products that make our lives easier, better, faster, stronger, more productive, whatever it is. So a lot of great man-made products that help us out. But unfortunately, most of the, a lot of these man-made products, they have what's called CFCs in them. Okay, CFCs are chloral floral carbons. And out of that, that chlorine, the chlorine that's in there, it dissipates from all man-made products, whether it's carpet, it's automobiles, it's plastics, everything with coatings on them, gases. And what we're talking about here is R22 refrigerant. So R22 refrigerant has contains CFCs, which that chlorine is the problem. So that chlorine, what it does is it will, it comes out of all the man-made products, right? Is emitted and it hits our ozone layer up here and it actually puts holes in our ozone layer. So it makes it permeable, all right, we can see that. And the sun not only provided us all this great energy, but it also emits ultraviolet rays. And ultraviolet rays, as we all know, is harmful to us, our skin, our health, as well as every living organism. So we need this nice protective ozone layer up here to be able to protect us from these ultraviolet rays. But as these CFCs are emitted from R22, a lot of other chemicals, as well as man-made products, we're making our ozone layer permeable so these ultraviolet rays can seep through. That's not good. So we're looking here to be able to get rid of the R22 and the damaging effect of our ozone layer. Make sense? All right, so let me ask you a few questions. And again, enter any questions in the questions option on your device or your desktop. So who, who here has had their AC fail on a really hot summer day? It's no fun. And again, if you've lived here in Phoenix for any period of time, I guarantee it's happened to you. So the question at hand may be, has it ever happened to Lou Hobica? You know, Lou knows a lot about comfort. He's been in this business his whole life. He knows what the heck he's doing. His AC's never gone down. He's never had a hot house. Well, I'm not magic, okay? I can't predict everything. So even though it doesn't matter what kind of service and maintenance I do, mechanical things will break, right? And it has happened to me. But I guarantee you, if my home, AC's out, it gets hot, my wife is not a happy camper, and she will threaten me to call my best or my worst competition if I don't jump on that right now. So in the Luhabaka household, it gets done now because we want to keep mama happy. All right, so have you ever tried to get a good night's sleep in a hot house when your AC died? So looking over here in this picture here, we can see laying in a hot bed, hot house, 95 degrees, 100 degrees, it's hot, humid, June, July, you're miserable, you're trying to get a good night's sleep for the next day at work, take care of your family, and you're just laying in a pool of sweat. That is not a pretty sight or thought to think about. So maybe you had a regular service company, somebody that you had maybe a service agreement with, and they were your regular, had it maintained, but something happened. Your AC unit just failed, but maybe they couldn't get out there right away. They got a lot of customers. It gets hot. They get real busy, so they have limited manpower and ability, so maybe they couldn't get out there quick enough, so you had to suffer and go to plan B and move out of the house go to a hotel, stay with a friend, something like this, uh, in-laws, whatever happened. Or maybe you didn't have a service provider, you had a relationship, and you had to quickly find somebody. And that's always a challenge. With whatever you're looking for, for home or business, and you need service, the number one thing you want to make sure is you have somebody, a relationship of somebody that you can trust, that's out for your best interest and you know is going to do the right thing. But bottom line, when your AC unit fails, nobody's happy. All right, so why you should listen to me? Tell you a little bit about myself, Hobica Services, a little bit about our history. 
So our company has been the experts in air conditioning for over 65 years. So here's a little bit about our company history. I'm going to start with my dad. All right. So Paul Hobica, Paul S. Hobica, he came here in the early 20s as a Lebanese immigrant with his family. And my grandfather had a brother here and uh, he had a dry goods store. And you can see this is downtown Phoenix in the 1920s. And this is Third Street in Washington. And you can see we have the, uh, let's see, we have the Ramona Theater here. And just for a, a little bit of history buff here, uh, individuals that have lived here a long time or know a little bit about history, the Ramona Theater later become the Paris Theater, then the Azteca Theater, and uh, it's, it's long gone, but uh, a, lot, a lot of history there. And my father used to tell me as a kid, he, it would cost him a nickel to see a movie. So I can't even imagine a nickel when we pay $10, $15 these days, but a nickel to see a movie. And anyway, so my father and grandfather, grandfather brought the family over here because it was a land of opportunity, Phoenix, Arizona. So my grandfather brought his family. They got here in the 20s. And um, my grandfather was a door-to-door -door salesman. So anyways, my father attended St. Mary's grade school and high school here locally. And then come World War II, he served for our country in the Army. And you can see my father here. He's on the right. He's sitting here on the right, and he's sitting on a German tank that had been destroyed. So kind of a cool picture uh, back in the 40s, World War II, him with some of his comrades here. That's a neat picture. All right. So anyways, uh, war ended. Dad got out of uh, the Army, was released, and he attended Phoenix College on an education grant under the GI Bill. So he meets with the counselor. And my dad was a radio operator in the Army. So it was real mechanically minded, electrically electronic minded. So good hands on skill set there. Good handyman. And he wanted to become an electrician. So he meets with the counselor. Counselor says, you know, I'm sorry, Paul. The electrical classes are all full. No room. My dad says, oh, no, what am I going to do? He says, well, you know, I have another opportunity. This is an up and coming industry. I think it may interest you because a lot of your skill set would apply to this. It's called refrigeration. So I told my dad a little bit about refrigeration, food, product, service, that type of thing, you know, needed for milk, produce, meats, anything food related, you know, getting more popular in the homes and businesses. And this is going to be a real killer um, type of an industry moving forward and a really nice service business and trade business for you. So my dad said, OK, so he joined in the refrigeration classes and he also took business. So after he graduated from school, he worked for a few small companies to gain some experience. But being the driven entrepreneur my dad was, he figured he could do it better himself. So he opened Hobika's refrigeration out of his garage in 1952. Now, my dad being uh, an entrepreneur and uh, having a growing business and needing a lot of help, I think my dad, honestly, I look back, I think my dad wanted to um, create his own employees. And uh, he did that by having a bunch of kids. So my dad and mom had seven kids. And you can see here an early family picture. We have me over here to the right and two of my partners in business today. We have Paul here front and center. And we got my brother, Mike, over here and the rest of my brothers and sisters. So remembering it was a family requirement to work in the family business. It was something that you just had to do. And, uh, you know, looking back, it really was an amazing opportunity, whether we went into the business or not, because it taught us just a whole bunch of really good life skills, a great work ethic and things that, you know, we'll always remember throughout our life on just how you treat other people, relationships and um you know, just doing everything you can, no matter what it is, to be able to overcome an obstacle and just doing whatever it takes to get something done. So that's what we are. And that's what Hobikas does. And my dad taught us that. And I have a, a note here and question option. Sounds like your dad was a great guy. Yeah, I would agree. My dad was a great guy. And uh, someone else here says my joke was funny. So I like that joke. No, I think it's a I think it's a fun joke. All right. Thanks for that. <laughs> All right. So we're going to move on here. So my dad had seven kids. And at that time in the 50s, air conditioning was not a, an option here in Phoenix, Arizona. It really hadn't you know, become very big. At that time, my dad serviced refrigeration to local grocery star, stores, farms, dairy farms, bars, restaurants, any food service type food, drink type products. 
and that was his forte. But come the 1960s, Phoenix started to grow rapidly, right? As well as the need for air conditioning on residential and commercial grew rapidly, and the affordability of it because the design and the technologies just enhanced enhanced so much. So at that time, my dad's business grew, had his kids, we all worked in the business, and then uh, had a very successful, profitable business. In 1989, myself here in the center, and we have my brother here, Mike, on the right. We have Paul here over on the left. We bought the family company from my mom and dad, and uh, we continued the legacy of always providing an honest, ethical service and always doing the right thing even when nobody's watching. All right. So today we're a mid-sized company. We're small enough to maintain that personal touch, which learning from my father, that was real important. We're people, people. We're just likable people, the most likable people you'll ever meet. It's all about relationship. And definitely we're not too big to forget who you are. That's really important. I've been personally in the air conditioning business for my entire working life with over 40 years of experience. All our technicians are drug-free certified and go through extensive training to keep up on current technologies. We are your air conditioning experts. So why should you listen to me? In addition, we're an award-winning company. We won the National Air Conditioning Contractors of America Residential Contractor of the Year. Yes, I said national. Best contractor residential in the country. Also, we won Contracting Business National Residential Contractor of the Year. In addition, we were the Better Business Bureau Ethics Award recipient, which meant we were the most ethical business of our size. Pretty cool. Our primary goal is to make sure your home is comfortable, reliable, and safe for you and your family. I guarantee you'll like a Hobica. All right, so let's talk about some facts, dangers, and a little bit more about the phase out that we're currently facing. So approximately 25 years ago, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, or as we know it, the EPA, mandated the phase out of R22 as the result of in gro growing environmental concerns, the depletion of our ozone layer. So acting in accordance with the Clean Air Act, the phase out was enacted to protect the Earth's ozone layer from ozone depleting compound chlorine, which is found in R22, as well as a whole host of other man-made products. So as a result, the production of new air conditioning units with R22 were completely phased out in 2010. All newly manufactured air conditioners were now being charged with environmentally friendly, safe R410A, no chlorine. In addition, the production of R22 was mandated to be reduced 10% each year starting in 2010. So we're going to go to this chart right here, and we're going to look in 2010, we had 110 million pounds of production of R22, all right? And so we're going to fast forward to 2017, and you can see here, we're at about 10 million pounds of production this year. And 2018 to 19, by the end of 19, you can see there's no more production. So come 2020, no new R22 refrigerant will be made. So what does that mean? Well, that means the cost of maintaining your AC, if it has R22, is only going to continue to rise. So if your air conditioner was manufactured before 2010, it may well likely utilize R22 refrigerant. That means the cost of maintaining and repairing your unit will continue to rise as R22 becomes obsolete. It's all based on supply and demand. And we all know as supply falls, demand's going to increase because there's less available and prices are going to skyrocket, right? Just going to go up and continue to go up. Pure economics. All right, so expensive repairs on your AC unit, they're difficult to plan for and never any fun. I mean, heck, we're dealing with a mechanical device here, a mechanical piece of equipment like your car. You know, it's not when it'll break or if it'll break, it's going to break. It's just a, ha it's just a matter of time, though it's never any fun. So let's talk about over the past several years, R22 refrigerant, it's increased in price by tenfold. That's over the past several years. I'm looking back to 2010 personally, and I've seen it increase 30-fold in the past seven years, 30-fold. How many products can you remember or even think about envisioning increasing price by 30-fold? Most products that we come across decrease in price over time just because 
of efficiencies of just manufacturing, supply and demand, easier ways, quicker ways, machines, robots, whatever it is, just innovations to make things cheaper. Well, as supply is going down, demand goes up, there's less available, so the price is just skyrocketing. So that means a repair, a refrigerant repair on your air conditioning system with R22 can easily range from $1,000 to over $3,000 on your 10, 20 year old unit. Not really a good idea. So I'm gonna ask you a question here on a different site. Have you ever spent a bunch of money on a home or car repair and were later upset you didn't make a good financial decision? I mean, heck, you're running real hard, you're busy, it's holidays, it's summer, whatever, it's hot, it's just a busy time for you, you got a lot going on, you got a lot of balls you're juggling in the air, and the last thing you need is for your car, plumbing, something major to happen in your home, a roof leak, and then you had to do something really quick just to get it done with, right? And you go back and there's regret and you say to yourself, you know, I shoulda, I woulda, if I only coulda. So wouldn't you much rather be informed, well informed to make a sound decision that's best for you and your family? Well, I certainly would. So I'm gonna pause for a few questions. And does my system have R22? If it's over 10 years old, are we certain? Well, no, we're not certain. Um, R410A started, became available as we started to make the transition about 2005. So we were actually installing a lot of 410A equipment about five years prior to the planned phase out of R22 equipment. So what you can do is if you're not sure, you can go to the nameplate of your unit if it's accessible of your unit on the ground or unit on the roof, and it'll say what refrigerant it has in it right on the name, the model serial nameplate. If that's not accessible, um, you can send me your information. If you know your model number of your unit, send it to me. If you're a customer of mine, I have your records. Just send me a note. Just send me an email, and I'll respond, look it up, and let you know what you got. So make that uh, nice and simple. All right, let's move on here. So let's talk about some options and what you can do. Uh, I got another question. So if uh, my unit currently uses R22, uh, can I convert it to a new product or new type of refrigerant? Uh, yes, you can. And I'm going to cover that right now. So there's a couple options and I'm going to give you several that you can choose from and whichever makes most sense for you. So I'll cover that for you here. All right. So option number one, if your unit does still use R22, you can replace it with an environmentally safe replacement, a different refrigerant. Basically, it is RS44B. Now this has very similar operating characteristics to perform as well as R22, and it's proven to be very effective. RS44B is readily available, reasonably priced, and we stock it on all of our service vehicles. Now this is my choice of refrigerant replacement for R22. There's many out there. I've tested almost all of them. This is the best one I've found. So we're using it in all conversions to R22 when necessary, as well as we have a wine cellar department here. And all of our wine cellar equipment for wine cellars we install and service, they all contained R22 as well. So about six months ago, we had to make the conversion because the equipment still best for wine cellars is R22 equipment. So even the new ones we put in, we're putting R22 equipment, but we're charging it now with this RS44B and it's working out very well for our wine cellars, which we maintain about a 55 degree temperature in a wine cellar or in your home, which is anywhere between, you know, in the mid seventies to 80 degrees. All right, so if your AC still has some warranty left, it's less than 10 years old, this may be a viable option for you. If it's more than 10 years old, I'm gonna say, you probably wanna look at upgrading your equipment because average lifespan of an air conditioning system before you start encountering some real expensive investments on repairs is about 12 years or so. So it's right in there. So if you're at 10 years old, you're at the end of your lifespan of your system, not really a wise idea to put a lot of money into it, as well as even if you're looking at staying there or selling your home for the resale value of your home, as well as all the other benefits you'll receive with the upgraded efficient equipment. I'm gonna cover those right now. So you can upgrade your current air conditioning system with a new high efficiency system that uses environmentally friendly R410A. This was the chosen replacement refrigerant by the EPA by manufacturers in 2010 when the R22 ban was put into place. 
It's safe, readily available, reasonably priced. And we also stock this on all of our service vehicles. In addition, your new air conditioner will be super energy efficient, up to 50% more than your current unit. It can save you over $1,000 on your utility bill. So if we look at the little chart down here, if your system is about 2010, it's going to have about an eight SEER rating. And SEER rating is the efficiency rating of air conditioning equipment, all right? Just like your car has gas mileage, miles per gallon, right, that rating, this is the efficiency rating of air conditioning. Now, today's air conditioning equipment average efficiencies are 16 to 18 SEER. And you can see easily you'll save 50% on your operating expenses for new versus old. Makes sense? But in addition, there's even much more efficient equipment today that go to the mid-20 SEER range. So they're super energy efficient, and they use a whole new technology. Instead of on or off, full speed on, full speed off, or what we've been utilizing for many years is two speed or two stage options that have a low stage and a high stage, the new equipment that's super energy efficient uses inverter technology. So it's got a variable capacity. So the best I can explain it, compare it to your car. Your car is a gas pedal and you can go from zero to 100 miles an hour anywhere in between. You're in charge of that. So the inverter technology, your thermostat in your home, maintaining the comfort and humidity of your home will maintain the delivery, the output of your conditioning system exactly what's needed at that time to maintain your comfort. No more, no less. So you save a lot on utilities because you're not wasting anything. It'll always keep you comfortable whether it's really hot or whether it's mild or anywhere in between and you're not wasting anything by delivering too much or in addition it takes care of hot and cold spots, evens out all the temperatures. So it's just wonderful technology. Plus some additional benefits, your new system will come with a minimum 10 year warranty. All right, so no worries there. It'll provide you with quieter operation. They're super quiet these days. Improve comfort throughout your home. So again, taking care of all those hot and cold spots. And most importantly, no more unplanned expensive emergencies on a hot day. That's never any fun. So much more reliable system. So you know, have no worries there. So you have option three. You can leave your unit as it is, do nothing, take your chances, right? Who knows? Possibly you can get another year or two out of your AC unit, or maybe not. So what I know is my experience in my industry has proven over and over, it's not if your unit will fail, it's when it will fail. And it will fail at the worst time. They fail when it's hot, it's humid, and they're working at their major capacity. I mean, when do you have a tire blowout on your car? When it's just sitting in your driveway on a cold winter day or in the fall when it's mild? No. When you're on the freeway and you're going 60, 70 plus miles an hour, the tire gets hot and it just explodes and comes apart and you have a blowout. That's when it happens. Same with your air conditioner. It's going to be when it's at its maximum capacity. So question, have you ever been at a place in your life when everything just seemed to be going wrong? right? Nothing was going your way. And just wouldn't things couldn't get any worse. What happened? They did. Not fun. So I don't know about you, but I'd much rather plan ahead and avoid difficult paths in my life. Life is stressful enough, brings enough curveballs, right? One important thing, remember, if mom ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. So keep your home comfortable, keep your, your family safe and comfortable, keep mama happy, life's good. So let's talk about some specials here. All right, let's talk about some specials here. So option one special, you can replace your current R22 with the RS44B. And what you receive is you'll receive a free service call. So no charge for us to come out. We'll evaluate, make sure that's a good option for you. And then apply a $150 instant savings coupon to your refrigerant upgrade. All right, pretty cool. Option two special savings on this webinar. Upgrade your current air conditioning system with a new high efficiency system with environmentally friendly R410A refrigerant. You'll receive a free home evaluation. We'll evaluate your entire home. It's $195 value. A free energy audit on your entire home to verify and check total home efficiency, $299 value. 
and then you'll receive up to $2,500 off on a new system. In addition, anybody that takes advantage of option one or option two, you may be able to take advantage of a whole bunch of additional offers here, including a one-year maintenance agreement on your AC system, which is a $240 value by our company, a free water heater flush and safety inspection. So let me talk a little bit about that. Typically, your water heater sits in a place where you don't even know where it's at, maybe in your garage, maybe it's in a closet, and it's kind of in the corner and it just forgot about, but it does a real important thing. It provides hot water. And if you ever lose respect for hot water, try taking a full cold shower and you'll say, yep, I need hot water. But basically, we're going to go through service, inspect, and flush your entire hot water heater, make sure it's operating properly and safely, and let you know if there's any concerns that we come across. And if you've ever had a hot water heater fail, it just doesn't quit providing hot water. What it does is the bottom rusts out and you have a flood emergency on your hands now. And that's what happens. So we're going to check it out and make sure we're all good there. Average life of a hot water heater, just to let you know, is about 10 years. So if you've never had it serviced, you don't know if it's 10 years old or older. It probably is. Probably should get checked out before you have an emergency on your hand. So that's a free offer. Plus, we're going to provide a free home health and safety evaluation valued at $199. And that's going to include a free home water pressure safety test. Now, what that is, is a lot of times the city water pressure is excessive, meaning damaging to your home, your plumbing, your appliances, your fixtures, all of your hoses, your valves, gaskets, everything. And if it's excessive, it will deteriorate, cause a problem, a rupture, and then you'll have a flood emergency. And the water isn't the issue right when it happens, but the damage that the water will make happen, that's the big problem. So you really don't wanna go there. Make sure your water pressure's safe. We're gonna check the pressure and make sure which it's within safe uh, area. And if it's a concern, we're gonna give you some options to be able to take care of that. We're gonna test your water and make sure it's safe for you and your family for free. We're going to test for harmful contaminants, impurities, chlorine, hardness. We're going to test your smoke alarm, your carbon monoxide detector, and to boot, we're going to even replace your batteries for free. How cool. All right, so who these offers are not for, if you don't have R22 in your AC unit, then you're good. If you have R22, but you want to take your chances and do nothing, well, good luck with that. If you're certain your AC won't fail on a really hot day, well, I know we can't believe in that one because that's when they do fail. So good luck with that one as well. Now, if you have your own supply of R22, you're licensed, you're certified, you know what to do with it, then you certainly don't need our services. If you and your family won't need any AC when your system goes out, well, if that's the case, I think you better pack your bags and move to a cooler climate because not here in Phoenix, Arizona. All right, I got another question here. Does Hobika have any tools to determine what the percent of my electric bills is attributed to my AC that will help me determine the true savings of a new unit? Certainly, um, a good baseline for your AC is 50% of your annual utilities, 50%. So if you take your total annual utilities, and if you're looking at maybe an average of $200 a month, $2,400 a year. So about half of that is going to be HVAC related. It's the largest utility user in your home, most costly. So about half of that, so you're looking at $1,200. So if you could save half of that or more, you could be saving $600. And that's for an average size home, I'm going to say of about 1,500 square foot. If your home's larger than that, then it's going to double, triple, whatever you're going to be looking at, depending on how many systems. And again, that's a one system home at about 1,500 square foot. So hopefully that was helpful. And if you have more questions on that and I don't get them answered, please feel free to give me a call or just email me and I'll respond uh, offline here. So who these offers are for, if your system still uses R22, definitely. If you consider the comfort, health, safety of your family as priority number one, well, we all do that, I'm certain, and we all believe that. If you don't want to be without AC on a hot summer day, no, nobody does. If you'd like to avoid any unnecessary stress in your life, got enough of that going on, don't need more. If you're earth friendly and care about our environment. So this, this is a real interesting one. 
So it's about time that we start to take better care of our environment. And if we don't, and this is just one way how we can, if we don't, I mean, seriously, think about it. Our kids, our grandkids, what type of a world environment are they going to have? What's going to be available for them to be able to live in if we don't start now? So we got to start with the little stuff and just chip away at it to continually improve our environment, you know, reduce the litter on our land, our water, and our air. So all of the above. If you love a bargain with lots of free stuff, yeah, this offers for you. And I love a bargain and I like free stuff. So I'm going to summarize the value offers for you today and then go over some free stuff that I have available, regardless if you take an offer or not. Got free stuff. All right. So replace your SIS your R22 with the RS44B. All right. You're going to get that free $95 service call plus $150 towards the upgrade of your refrigerant. If you replace your system with environmentally friendly air conditioning, high efficient system, you're going to get that free home evaluation, $195, free energy audit to test the whole efficiency of your home. Very valuable. And if you haven't got that done, I recommend that wholeheartedly. It was a big eye opener for me. And even me being in the business, I found out a whole bunch of things I didn't know. Uncovered all kinds of great saving opportunities for me. Plus, big savings off your new system, up to $2,500. So in addition, the free stuff that I said you could opt in for if you choose option number one or two. For the first first 15 participants, you'll also receive that free maintenance agreement by Hobica Services. That's a $240 value. You'll receive the free water heater flush and safety inspection, $89.90 value, plus the free health and safety inspection of your home, $199 value. So that's total of free stuff today for the first 15 participants, over 500 bucks. All right, pretty cool. Now I did talk about free stuff just for being on the webinar today. So here we go. For everybody that's just here on the webinar, you'll receive a $50 discount coupon valid towards any product or service that we offer. That's a heck of a deal, 50 bucks just for being here today. Plus, Hobica Services has an app. Yeah, we do. And it's a really nice app full of all kinds of valuable stuff. So just go on your device, go to your app store, search for Hobica Services. You'll find our app because we're the one and only people out there with that name. Download our app. It's free. All kinds of great value there. What I really like, a few highlights here, it has a filter reminder. So let me share with you one big insight. The number one problem service call we run, whether it's heating or cooling, is all due to a dirty filter, believe it or not. So the majority of all service calls are attributed to a dirty filter. And you're saying, Lou, I don't see how that's possible. Filters are cheap. They're available everywhere. You can get deliver them free to your door. And they're not that hard to do. Heck, I can teach my 10-year-old kid to be able to do it, right? So not difficult. Well, really, it's nothing about that. It's just about remembering to be able to do it. We have busy lives. We got a lot of things going on and replacing our filter is not top of mind. So, you know, we may have thought about it. OK, I need to replace my filter. Heck, I'll do it this weekend. We get to the family emergency, things going on, more enjoyable things. We kind of forget about it. A couple months later, we think about it. Heck, I got to change my filter. You put it on your to do list. You're thinking about it. You forget all about it again. And then before you know it, a year or so goes by. AC is not putting out very well. You call the bike is out. Technician says, well, we got a little problem. The indoor coils iced up. You know, it looks like I found the filters quite dirty. Um, looks like it needs to be replaced more often. And uh, all due to this dirty filter, you had to uh, have somebody come out from Hobica and you had to pay a service call and defrost the coil. And that's never any fun. So basically on the app, there's a filter reminder. You can choose one, three or six months. All right. And it'll send you a notification when it's time to change your filter. Problem solved. Plus, there's maintenance reminders to remind you to get maintenance, just like your car. Oil needs to be changed every five, 7,500 miles. So your air conditioning system should be maintained in service at a minimum twice a year. That's my recommendation. Plus, we have a, a customer reward program for every paid service visit. You're going to earn rewards and you can earn up to $100 for every third per paid service visit. So you have the app. Technician performs the visit. He goes in your device, puts our secret code in. 
he qualifies the visit, you get three, you can earn up to a hundred bucks. So that's pretty cool stuff. We have all kinds of up-to-date seasonal promotions. You can schedule your service request from our app. You can also attach a video, a picture, or audio if you're having a problem with your air conditioner so we can see firsthand of what's going on because it's kind of hard to catch it. You know, when you take your car to the mechanic, it doesn't, the problem doesn't occur, doesn't make the noise anymore, right? You have all that happen, right? So no more of that. You can take a video, an audio, a picture, whatever. You can send it in with your service request, nice and simple. Um, there's all kinds of helpful tips in our help center and all kinds of great educational videos by yours truly, Lou Hobaika, and much more. So check that out, that's free for you as well. All right, so any other questions here? I'm not, let me see if I got anything else. I don't see any more questions coming up that I haven't addressed. So feel free to email me and I'll be able to access your account, answer any questions on your system model number, whatever it is. And if you have any questions on the offers that I presented today, let me know that as well and how we can serve you. So whatever option you choose, um, my hope is that um, it's best for you and your family for the long run. All right. So what I'm going to do here is, is uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, I'm going to send in your chat option, I'm going to send a link to a claim form that you can claim option one, option two, or the free stuff, or all of it, whatever you're looking for. And so I'm gonna send that out right now in the chat. And this is a clickable link, all right, from either your desktop or your device. All right, so it just went out in the chat, I posted it, so that's clickable, so you can claim anything that I presented here. And in addition, in about one hour, you're also gonna get an email notification, thank you for joining the webinar, and it'll also have this fill form to be able to claim any of the options I have here. All right, that makes sense? So that's pretty simple. All right, so wrap it up. I'd like again, thank you for joining me today. Hopefully it was beneficial and you learned something. And if you're good to go, you know, maybe you can help a family member, brother, sister, cousin, neighbor, anybody that you know that this could apply to. This is, uh, you can find this, a recorded version of this on YouTube, the Hobaika, just search Hobaika Services. You'll pull up our channel and a recorded version of this webinar will be there. It's on our app under our video section in our help center. So it's recorded there as well as a bunch of other videos. You can contact us uh, through our app online at hobaika.com. Um, all kinds of ways, or just give us a call. You can even stop in. Heck, we'd love to meet you and see you personally because we are friendly people, the most friendly ones that you'll ever meet, right? We're likable, and I guarantee you'll like a Hobaika. So everybody have a great day. Thanks again. Take care. Bye.